As many of you I'm sure already know, Fujifilm recently put out a statement saying that they're discontinuing their film in Japan for the time being. Additionally, many photographers, myself included, noticed that many of these new Fujifilm packs were donning a new tramp stamp on the back of their packaging, donning the good old insignia of US of A. Now, according to Cosmo Photo, who I initially stumbled upon their article, there have been reports in the last couple weeks that these, quote, newly produced multi-packs are being discontinued in October slash November. In response, Cosmo Photo has reportedly reached out but have yet to receive comment back from them. However, Fujifilm just released a couple weeks ago a statement warning of some price increases and some more info, which we'll go over here. It reads, Dear customer, thank you for your continued patronage of Fujifilm products. Fujifilm Imaging Systems is working to improve production efficiency for photographic film and Instax products amid soaring component and raw material prices, transportation costs, etc. We have tried to absorb the costs by reducing costs and other measures, but it is difficult to absorb them through corporate efforts alone, so we will revise the prices as follows. The price increases according to the table provided range from 13 to 88% on photographic film, but Fujifilm does not break them down by film type specifically. Now, this is coming months after Kodak's continued price raises uh, we've seen over the last couple years, which is less than ideal. As stated in a previous video, I think that this is a somewhat ambiguous sign for Fujifilm film production going forward, as it seems quite clear that they want to lean into their more popular line of digital cameras, but from this, it does appear that they would be attempting to continue their film lineup, even if it does, quote, require a price hike. While I do think that this is obviously a good sign that they're apparently going to be still producing Fujifilm film stocks, the veil about what the future holds for them and the film market isn't something that I'm super confident in as we've seen the market inflate greatly in the last couple years especially and with their popularity of their digital cameras and especially leaning into that digital film camera kind of hybrid um, type of camera from a business perspective they're obviously making that a priority and it's tough to blame them now whether they're truly short on supplies or there is actual distribution issues is in my opinion kind of up for debate they could be looking at Kodak, kind of squeeze the limitations of um, what consumers are willing to pay for film, kind of watching that move and then going from there before they hopefully uh, don't discontinue their whole film lineup in preference of their newer digital cameras. Again, that's total speculation. We have no idea. That's more of my realist or pessimist um, point of view on it. This new press release from Fuji doesn't really answer a lot of the questions we had from their latest press release, uh, the USA tram stamp on their newest Fujifilm products, and their quote, attempt to improve efficiency doesn't really break down um, specifically what's going on or what they're trying to improve to get us these films at all. Which is kind of irking me because the lack of transparency, which I get it, they're a multi-million dollar business and we don't really deserve to know the ins and outs of their business strategy. But like I said, I think just some more transparency with this news instead of just keeping it so ambiguous um, kind of leaves a lot of people in the shadow, not really knowing what the future of film or Fujifilm will be looking like. For example, even the table provided ranging from 13 to 88% is such a large margin. It would be nice to get some more details um, highlighting which specific film will be impacted the most and at what cost. I'm sure the largest price increase will be their more niche slide film stocks, which I don't really shoot too much anyways, but a big reason for me shooting Superior 400 or C200 was the price point, which, well, I guess we'll see. But ultimately, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think it's a good or bad thing ultimately for Fujifilm film stocks? Or I guess I'm kind of somewhere in the middle where I think that obviously it is good that we're getting these film stocks being produced again, um, but kind of at what cost and to what extent will Fuji actually care about uh, the state of film going forward and the cost that it is to the consumers, I guess is something that we'll have to see. But like I said, let me know down in the comments. And otherwise, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos coming soon. And until the next one, stay safe, stay shooting, and peace out. Talk to you guys soon.